This monk is a peach blossom hijacker. Women fall in love with him just by looking at him. They rush to give him money, make frequent advances, and even his brothers and sisters throw their eyes at him. That's why the temple is so popular. Every time he came back, Paul would meditate all day to purify his mind. But meditation wasn't easy. Paul's mind was still filled with images of women chasing him. Faced with Paul's suffering from women, he couldn't stand it anymore. He decides to sacrifice himself to stand up for him, but he slapped back to the temple to sweep the floor. To prevent this situation from escalating, the abbot gave Paul a grounding order, forbidding him to leave the temple. Paul stayed in the temple and cleaned up. The brothers didn't say anything on the surface, but privately, they thought the abbot was afraid that Paul would break the order. Paul himself blamed himself and resolved to double his training to strengthen his determination. During the day, he did all the laundry and cooking. He did all the chores. At night, he meditated until dawn. He hoped to eliminate his deep sins, but everyone has desires. Even if he didn't go down the mountain, women would still come. That day Paul was sweeping the steps when he heard someone calling out to him. And when he looked, it was a shy young woman. Curious about many things, Paul followed the woman's call into the forest. The woman took off her mask and approached him. After all, the commandments did not defeat his inner desires. Paul couldn't help but extend his hand, and the next moment he was ejected to meters away, and looked up to see, the woman had no face. Paul was so scared that he ran away, and when he came back, he quickly meditated and chanted, trying to eradicate his desire through meditation. But after feeling a different kind of spring, Sin Zazen could no longer suppress his inner urges, and his mind was filled with images of the women in the village surrounding him. Even the faces of his brothers were masks. There was a great conflict between the superficial Buddhist ethics and his deepest desires. He couldn't handle this inner division. He eventually suffered a nervous breakdown. The abbot, a monk who had practiced for decades, saw and ran demons at once, and asked Paul to go down to the mountains, to let go of his desires. But is it really that simple? Is it that simple? This monk has a body envied by men, and is naturally attracted to women. Every time he travels down the mountain, all the female monks, young and old, flock to him, to find a way to get rid of the peach blossom. Paul has been traveling ever since. Away from the women in the village, but the more he suppressed his desire, the more it rebounded. On his way to a village, Paul met two women walking towards him. Perhaps it was because they were so pretty. As they passed, Paul couldn't help but turn around and climb the waterfall, chanting Buddhist sutras. The cold water lapping at his head doesn't keep him awake. Instead, the women in his head were like beasts, coming at him. Paul found, Paul found that traveling where there were people didn't work. He still met women, it still aroused his desire. So he decided to take the mountains, away from the crowds. But even so, he felt them following him around, hiding behind him, teasing him. On the way, he met a swordsman. The swordsman had killed a man, threatening Paul with death. He lowered the brim of his hat and didn't dare to look up for fear that the swordsman would recognize him. What you fear is what happens. The swordsman realized that he was the legendary flower monk and couldn't help teasing him a bit. Paul denied it and said he was a Buddhist. How could he not follow the Buddhist precepts? The swordsman found it very interesting. A man who could follow the Buddhist precepts light. Then the two of them went on a journey together. They passed through a village. They saw a beautiful woman sitting at the entrance of the village holding a dry corpse. After inquiring, they learned that there was a mountain maiden in the mountains. She was a powerful seducer. Men in the village are constantly being seduced and sucked to death. The woman was holding her newly deceased husband. The villagers thought Paul was a Taoist monk and hoped that he could help to subdue the woman and protect the remaining men in the village. Paul didn't agree. He said he's just a small monk with no magic power, but he could help the dead to transcend. And the swordsman accepted the commission. He asked the widow to remarry him after the deed was done. The widow was eager to take revenge. She agreed immediately. Then the two men set out on their own. The swordsman went to the mountain to kill the woman. Paul came to the woman's home to pray for her. But he didn't realize that. The characteristics of attracting women's favorites once again came into play. This monk is his own magnetic field. He was born with a strong affinity for women. When he was praying for a man, the woman unconsciously approached him and tried to jump on him. Paul was so scared that he ran away. With tears in his eyes, he chanted that it wasn't my fault. He was able to mesmerize women and the ghosts were able to seduce men. What's the difference between him and the ghost? He was curious. If he met a female ghost, who would be better? Thinking of this, he caught up with the swordsman who went to kill the ghost. Looking at the panting Paul, the swordsman laughed out loud. He saw Paul's demon a long time ago. He hated women but couldn't suppress the desire in his heart. Just like him, he didn't like swords. But one day all his family members were killed. The blood in his heart was no longer under control. And when he came to his senses, when he came to his senses, it was too late. He became a murderer. Now Yasuta is just like the original swordsman. He's constantly on the run, suppressing his own heart. In the end, there will be a catastrophe. After saying that, the swordsman turned his head and left. 
When Paul saw him again, the swordsman had turned into a dry corpse. Standing next to him was the female ghost in red. One is a monk who is born with the ability to charm women. The other is a demoness who can seduce men. Both have a fatal attraction to the opposite sex. When they meet, the one with the stronger heart will win. But what we didn't expect was, the mountain woman couldn't defeat Paul. She didn't charm him but couldn't resist her love for him. She took off her clothes. As the plot deepens, Paul finally failed to defend his last line of defense and smiled evilly and pounced on the female ghost. He completely fell into the devil's way. Even his appearance has changed into the appearance that the female ghosts are afraid of. On that night, all the women in the village disappeared. Since then, there has been a legend in Japan. There was a demonic monk. Everywhere he went, a woman would be taken away 